guys welcome to Didi Dye's Crafty Corner today I wanted to do another comparison video I wanted to compare the ink tents colored pencils with the Prisma colored colored pencils just a few of them of kind of the same color so I bought a set of 12 ink tents color pencils um, this has yellow orange red pink dark blue teal a dark teal green light green orange and a couple of browns in it and then I'm going to be pulling some of my um, Prismacolors from my 150 pack of the Prismacolor premieres and we're going to do a little comparison so let's get started okay so I stamped out some images from the Simon Says Stamp Spring Flowers um, just a few images and I want to try to color these up with just a few of the different pencils so I'm going to be using the um, Dor the, the ink tents Dor Dorwent have a hard time saying that word colors in poppy red the first the first one I'm going to do is the um, poppy red in the ink tents color I'm just gonna say ink tents and I'm going to be doing blending up. So I'm just going to be putting some color on the bottom of the first couple of flowers. So right now I'm doing the ink tense. You'll know it's an ink tense pencil because it's blue. Um, the Prismacolor pencils are a solid color, but the ink tense are blue with the color on the tip on the um, base of the pencil. So this one is called Poppy Red. And then I'm going to be coming with the second one, and it's also called Poppy Red by Prismacolor, and it's um, it's almost an orangier red actually. It's a different color altogether. I tried to choose colors that I thought would be similar, but these two aren't that similar. Excuse me, aren't that similar? So I'm just going to go in and put some color on the bottom, and then we're going to use some Gamsol and we're going to blend it up and see what it looks like and then we'll be adding some colors from there so now i'm using the yellow ink tense pencil in sunshine and sun yellow it's called sun yellow and i um, gonna use a little bit of the orange um, derwent color in tangerine orange tangerine so I'm going to be blending the orange and the yellows together. I'm also going to be using the orange color Prismacolor pencil. It's just orange. And with that, I'll be using the um, canary yellow color pencil. And we'll be blending those two together to see how they do. Now, I'm going to be blending, instead of blending out just one color, I'm going to be blending the two colors, but I'm not going to be blending them pencil to pencil. I'm going to blend them with the blender solution of Gamsol and a blender stick. So right now I'm coming in with the greens, and the green in the, the ink tense color is green apple green, and the green in the Prismacolor pencil, which is just the all green pencil, is also called green apple green. And they are, um, again, just a little bit different. And I'm going to be using the same yellows per each pencil to blend in with those greens as well, just so that I can kind of see how it looks to blend them out. Um, so I'm cleaning off my stump on a little piece of sandpaper, and then I'm going to come in and put a little bit of Gamsol, which is just an oil. It's like a mineral spirits kind of oil thing, but with very, very little odor. And I've had this same bottle now for, well, I've actually refilled it once, but I've had the same bottle now going on four years. So this is a great little bottle. It's from um, Inky Ant Antics, and it comes in a kit, which is also where I got my little blending um, stump and the paper. So I put some Gamsol on the, on the stump, and I'm just blending that color up to see if I can get a nice fade, to see if I can go from darker to lighter on each petal. Again, this one that we're blending right now is the ink tints color, and this, that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see if the ink tints colors were indeed brighter, more vibrant, and um, 
if they blended the same and how they lay down. So let me tell you as I'm doing this, let me tell you a little bit about how the colors lay down. The ink tense colors are much harder to lay down on paper than the Prismacolor. The Prismacolor pencils lay down like butter. They're super soft, super smooth, and they really do lay down effortlessly on the paper. I found that with the ink tints pencils, um, they were scratchier, they're a harder pencil, they're much harder, and it was harder for me to get them to lay down on a smooth surface paper. Now, you're supposed to use a toothier paper when you're using pencils. I'm using a very smooth cardstock for this, so I think if I had just switched my paper up, the pencils might have laid down a little bit nicer. So now I'm blending the um, green and the yellow together. I believe that's the ink tents leaf. I put a little eye next to the ones that were ink tents, but mm, I can't see that from here. So I'm blending it out and I'm blending the green first and I'm blending the yellow into the green and on both of them, the Prismacolor and the ink tents, it's a gorgeous color. It's very, very pretty. I have to say in real life, the ink tense is just a little brighter. It really is just a little more pop of color. But for the most part, the two colors are extremely similar and you, you know, you, you got to play with what you have. If you've, if you've got um, Crayola, um, some of the best pictures I've ever done were done with Crayola Crayola markers. They're super smooth and pigmented. So you can get, you know, you can get blending effects with all colored pencils. I just wanted to see the difference between the Prisma colors and the ink tints, and that was my whole purpose for this video. So now I'm blending the um that's the Prisma. The first one I did is the Prisma color pencils in the orange and the yellow, the orange and the canary yellow, and now I'm doing the ink tense one which is tangerine and the sun yellow and again I'm just going in and blending the two colors together to see how it looks and see which one is more vibrant and again on this one that orange on the ink tense is a little more vibrant um, on the first one up there, they're just so different. There's more orange in the poppy of the Crayola on the first two flowers. And see, I mean, there's one's more red, one's more orange, but they both blended beautiful. So now I'm going to go in. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do next. Yeah, I'm going to go in and I'm going to mix those colors together, the reds and the oranges. I'm going to blend them together and see what we get. I'm going to start with the ink tense and poppy, and I'm going to put it in just part of the flower. I'm going to make it make that the dark the red kind of color and then I'm going to go in with the ink tints uh, am I did I oh no I went in with the Prismacolor orange and I'm going to blend those two colors together and see what we get and then I'm going to do the orange on the bottom of the next flower that's the Prismacolor that I'm doing right now. It's a Prismacolor orange, and that's what it's called, orange. That's why I keep saying orange. And I'm using the Intense um, Sun, what is it called? Sun Yellow for the other side. And do I go ahead and do a third one or not? I don't think so. And then we're just going to blend them together. So again, I'm going to go with the darkest color, and I'm going to blend up. Just blend it out, make it nice and smooth. And then I'm going to um, blend in the orange color down to the darkest color. And it's super pretty. It's really pretty. Those colors are very, very pretty together. Made a very pretty orange. I think at the end I added a little yellow and a little more orange before it, I was finally done. But they blended so well. So that's the one thing I can tell you. These two pencils blend very well together. Even though they go down on paper much differently, they did blend very well together. Um, I had a lot of fun blending them. So now I've blended out the orange, and now I'm going to blend the yellow down into the orange, and then kind of all together and see the effect I get with that. And again, super pretty. Really, really pretty. Really like that a lot. So I decided on getting just the 12. I got this set of 12 of the Ink Tense pencils because I figured um, that 
I figured I wouldn't need a bigger set. I thought that it had the most basic colors, and it does. It's got pink, blue, teal, brown, black, yellow, orange, red, green, dark green. So you really have a combination of all the colors that you would normally use, and you can just use this around the edges or around places where you want to intensify the color. And I actually think that's what they were intended on being in the first place. Um, and I'm going to be very curious to see how they work with a more toothy paper, um, a paper that has a little more tooth to it, because I'm using super smooth paper, and they were really hard to put down on paper, whereas the Prismacolors were super buttery soft. So now I think I'm just going in and doing a few more leaves. Um, I'm using the, again, the canary yellow down there. And I'm going in and I'm blending all those together and I'm doing kind of a, the leaf that I'm doing is kind of an orange, yellow, and green leaf. And then the final leaf I'm going to do has got orange, red, green, yellow, orange, red, green, and yellow all together. And it comes out really fall looking. So the yellows, the green, and the red kind of made a brown. And then I added some yellow and a little orange. And it was, it came out super pretty. So um, it's one of the things I love about colored pencils is your ability to be able to blend them together. You can put one layer on top of another layer on top of another layer. And it's just super, super um, pretty when you keep layering. And at the end, when you see the photograph, I went back and I added just a little more color to a few of the flowers and even more color at the end before I'm going to put the card together. Um, I'm going to add a little more, like a brighter red to the center of the yellow and orange flowers, the ones that look like daisies. And the colors just really did blend. So... In, in closing, I have to say that yes, the, in, the Derwent Intense colored pencils are more vibrant. They are more intense. Um, I wouldn't personally, I wouldn't use them solo without blending them with other pencils um, just because I'm finding them a little hard to lay down on paper. But I think to add a spark of brightness to the pencil, um, I think that it's I think it's exactly what I needed. So I'm very happy I purchased them. Um, they're beautiful, beautiful colors. The colors that come in this set of 12 are gorgeous. And um, they blended so well with the other color pencils blending together with the Gamsol. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next video. And here's a close-up. I'll see you guys later. Bye!